Today I'm going to show you all the native apps on the Apple Vision Pro and do a quick walkthrough of how to use them. Subscribe to CNET for more how-to videos. Let's get started with Apple TV. If you already have a subscription to Apple TV, then it should be pretty easy to interface with. To pull up your apps, press the digital crown, look at the Apple TV app, and then pinch your fingers together. If you look at the bar across the bottom, you could grab it, pull it closer, push it out. If you look at the edge of the screen, you'll see the little white bar moves to the edge. You could grab it and then resize the screen to be even bigger. And then to unmute the trailer, you just simply look at the icon you want to choose and then pinch your finger. That unmutes the video. Click your finger again to mute. If you want to add it to your watch list, click the plus sign and it's on your watch list. You could scroll by grabbing and pinching and then moving your hand up and down or left to right and right to left. You can use your voice to search for different shows in the Apple TV library. Hey Siri, search for Severance on Apple TV. There it is. Look at it, pinch it, play it. You can play, pause, fast forward, rewind, simply by looking at the icon and pinching with your fingers. Then when you want to close it, simply look at the little X, pinch your finger together, and you've closed Apple TV. And you can go right back to the menu. Apple Music works very similarly. To open it, look at the app and pinch your fingers together. If you have previously purchased music, you could stream it over Wi-Fi or download it onto the AVP for listening on the go. Now here's my old band, Million Dollar Itch. You have volume controls, pause, fast forward, next song. It all works the same. You also have the option to remove music, share it, or reorder a playlist. You can also switch to a mini player if you want the giant interface out of your way. If you want to take a load off and rest your brain, the next app on the list is Mindfulness. The Mindfulness app will guide you through some pre-programmed meditation experiences designed to calm you down and give your brain a rest, even though you're locked into a virtual world. So I could choose the length of time and who I want to meditate with. Let's stick with Jessica Sky. I could choose five minutes, 10 minutes, or 20 minutes. Let's do five minutes. Click start, sit back and chill. Hi, this is Jessica, and I'll be guiding you through this meditation on creativity. Begin by focusing on your breath. Inhale fresh air. Exhale release. To stop it, tap your fingers together in front of your face, look at end and click end. I did a four minute session and you could resume if you want and it'll keep track of all the days that you've done meditations, which is kind of neat. I'm gonna go ahead and resume and finish because I have one minute left. And I'm fading back into the real world. Great, I did a five minute session, done. The next app on the list is settings. Settings is pretty self-explanatory. You have settings for the AVP. You can scroll up and down. You have persona settings, FaceTime settings, eyes and hands settings, people awareness settings. Let's look at people awareness. So this will allow me to see people through environments and immersive apps. This will allow me to see people through everything. And then I have a setting here to reveal people in your space only when you're looking at them. So I can turn up the brightness. Here you can reset your optic ID, which will rescan your eyeballs. And I can also find nearby devices like my iPhone SE. I can turn my passcode off, change my passcode, and erase all my data. 
The next app I'm gonna look at is Freeform. I've never used the Freeform app, but it allows you to get creative, sketch out a project, design a mood board, brainstorm ideas, and so much more. So when you first open the app, you have a giant whiteboard right in front of you, and it looks like it can select a pencil or a marker. I'm gonna select this red pencil, and let's just draw a CNET logo. You have options to change the color. I'm just gonna put a line underneath, a big yellow line. It's really just kind of a design app. And if you want to go back, you just hit back. And then I'm done. Let's see what other options I have. Typing options, I can type in some text. I'm gonna move the text box over here and then add some emojis. Anyway, that's Freeform. You can draw a picture, add some text, add some emojis, share it with your friends and collaborate. It's pretty cool. The next app on the list is Safari. Open Safari and as you can see, I'm working on my script here. You can open another tab. You can do all the things you pretty much do in Safari. You can surf in private. You can add your favorites. You can do dictation. CNET.com. And I can search CNET in a spatial computing environment. Then I can expand all the windows to multiple screens, which is really cool. And come back to the main screen that I'm working on. Now let's look at photos. These are the recordings I made producing this video. On the left side, you have options for spatial, memories, library, albums, panoramas, and search. If I go into spatial videos, there's a video oh, my son video just took. Right Whoa. If I go to library, it has all the videos that I've shot for this video I'm producing right now. And you can search by years, months, days, or all photos. Then you could choose select and select certain videos that you want to share or delete. If you click share, you have option to airdrop. Now I just sent that video to my MacBook Pro and then I can select to delete it. Under the menu, you can zoom in, zoom out, change the aspect ratio and filter different photos from your favorites, edited photos and videos. Pretty simple. The next app we're gonna look at is Notes. Everyone uses notes on their iPhone. Click continue. And here I am in notes. Now unfortunately my notes from my MacBook Pro and my iPhone SE did not port over to the AVP. So I have to start from scratch. So let's go ahead and make a note. Boom, there's my note. Options below allow you to undo, make a checklist, add a table, insert images, or drawing tools. The next app we're gonna look at is the App Store. Now in here you can buy apps for the Apple Vision Pro. These are all apps that I assume are made for the Apple Vision Pro. So I'm gonna double click to install. It's using Optic ID to process the payment and I'm opening Sky Guide. I'm gonna stargaze from the mountain at dusk. Ooh, pretty cool. Showing me constellations. There's a little dipper. The next app is the mail app. Here you can choose what email you want to use and it's pretty self-explanatory. I'm going to use outlook.com. And here's my email feed. I can VIP different things. I can look at drafts. I can look at my sent emails. 
I can look at junk email and my trash. I can compose a new email. And it'll say sent from my Apple Vision Pro. So now we're gonna check out the Messages app. Open the Messages app and the keyboard will pop up right in front of your face right away so you can compose a message. You can type with your fingers or you can look and click and type. Click on the menu and you can set up your name and your photo. Down below you have options to add photos, Apple Cache, Memoji stickers, GIF images, and message effects. You can also use your voice to compose an audio message that you could send via text to a friend that they can play back and listen to. Click on the plus sign and it'll bring up your contacts. You can choose who you want to send a message to. I'm gonna send a message to my son, Colin. If you want, you can call them via FaceTime video. I'm calling my son, Gavin. He's upstairs playing video games. Hello? What's up, bud? What the heck? <laughs> Does it look funny? Yeah. Okay. I just want to call you and say hi. Okay. Okay, bye. bye. And that's the Messages app. Next to Messages, you have compatible apps. You have books, calendar, clock, home, maps, news, podcasts, reminders, shortcuts, stocks, and voice memos. And then finally, you have files which will organize all the files on your Apple Vision Pro. You have recent, shared, iCloud Drive, on my Apple Vision Pro, and recently deleted. And you can also label those tags with different colors. Right now I don't have anything in this because I just turned this thing on. On this menu you can look at icons, lists, columns, separate them by name, kind, date, size, tags, and other view options. And then finally you have tips which will give you tips on how to use your Apple Vision Pro most effectively. So that's it, that's all the native apps that come loaded on the Apple Vision Pro. Like and subscribe to CNET for more how-to videos like this one, and thanks for watching.